I uh, I thought that it would be a uh, appropriate to delve into the Haggadah Shel Pesach um, with different Pirushim from Chachmenu, from our a great Moroccan Chachamim. And this year specifically, we're going to focus on the teachings of Rabbi Yaakov Abu Chatzera. Rabbi Yaakov Abu Chatzera on the Haggadah Shel Pesach. And I think we mentioned before one very important overview regarding the Haggadah Shel Pesach is that the Haggadah is not just a random, ra- random um, bits of information that that are that are that are put together without any consistent theme. Rather, the Haggadah Shel Pesach is very, very, uh, very well organized, as we'll see, as we'll see, is very well organized in um, in how to how to teach us the message of of discussing Sipur Yitziat Mitzrayim. So getting straight into the Haggadah where we start, the 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 Haggadah starts by discussing how we were in bond, we were in bondage avadim hayinu bemitzrayim and we mentioned that the first part of the Haggadah we split it into three so the first part of the Haggadah we basically start from halachma anya or we would say bibilu yatsanu mimitzrayim I mean, in in Aramaic, that is last uh, uh, is that we we left Mitzrayim in a hurry. This is the girsa of the Rambam in his uh, in his Haggadah Shel Pesach, Bibilu Yatsanu Mitzrayim, and the first part of the Haggadah from Halach Ma'anya all the way up to all the way up to. Baruch Shomer Haftachato Le'amo Yisrael No, even before that, but uh, up until Mitchila of the Avodah Zarah Hayu Avotenu That our forefathers were of the Avodah Zarah All of it is an introduction And it's an introduction to show How important it is to be discussing Sipur Yitziat Mitzrayim Whether it's even, Whether it's our level, in other words, we see from the story of the Chachamim that discusses Sipur Yitzchak Zayim all night, whether it's our level. In other words, even if we're great Chachamim, we have to be dealt in the depth of it. So the first, the first introduction is to get into the depth of Sipur Yitzchak Mitzrayim. And then we discuss about the different levels of understanding that each person according to his understanding, like the four sons. And then we discussed that in the, the time-wise, Yachol Mirosh Chodesh, why why the night of Lel Pesach is the right time to speak about Yisipur Yitzchak Mitzrayim, and we're gonna we're gonna go into that a little bit more tonight. So let's start with the introductions. We'll go to we'll we'll we'll, we'll go to um, to right away. We'll we'll skip to Maaseh uh, Rabbi Lezer, Rabbi Yeshua, Rabbi Lezer ben Azaya, Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Tarfon. Shayu mesubim benebrak. They were sitting in benebrak. Vayu mesaprim beyetziat mitzrayim koloto alayla, and they would be discussing sipur yetziat mitzrayim all night. Ad shebau talmidem veamru lahem rabotenu hugiyas man kriyat shma shel shacharit. So they were discussing. So, so Rabbi Yaakov Abu Chatzera points out like this that we see from these chachamim that they were discussing in sipur yetziat mitzrayim. He, 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 one of the amazing things in the writings of Rabbi Yaakov Abu Chatzera is we're able to discover a, a massive depth that he had and he has a whole perush called called Bigde Serad it's a whole explanation of the Haggadah Shel Pesach Al Pi Kabbalah according to Kabbalah 
very, very long perushim. A couple of words, he'll go on for pages and pages in Al Pi Kabbalah. That's, that was the koach of Rabbi Yaakov Abu Khatsar. He also has another sefer, Elif Bina. He says the whole, whole sefer on the Aleph Bet. whole sefer on the Aleph Bet. Every single letter has chapters and chapters. But yet he was, he was known as one of the great, great Mikubalim of the. Of, he was the legacy of the Bukhatera family and he discusses over here before he starts his whole perush of the Haggadah Shel Pesach the whole perush of Haggadah Shel Pesach al he wants to say do you know do you know the depth that there is in the Haggadah Shel Pesach so he says like this Anochi Hashem Elokecha the first commandment that Hashem commanded us Anochi Hashem Elokecha Asher Hotzeticha Me'eretz Mitzrayim Anochi Hashem the first of the Aseret he brought, right away it says, Asher Tzedich HaMe'eretz Mitzrayim. It's unbelievable. In, a, in, a, in other words, you, you would think that, that that this is one miracle among all the other miracles, Asher Rabbi Yaakov Bukhatsera. What is so different that we have to be Doresh so much in Sipur Yitziat Mitzrayim that, that, that it was a miracle that Hashem did. It was a tremendous miracle. But it's the basis of our imunah. It's, but it's, isn't it the birthplace of the nation? Okay, so we're starting. In other words, I mean, but because even any shlosh you're always saying you're always saying you say, it. You say, you say whatever for Sukkot, but then you say, it. you know, the God that took us out of Yitzchak. And one of the amazing <laughs> things, one of the amazing things, is that it says Sipur <laughs> Yitzchak Mitzrayim. It talks about Ani Hashem and Kasher Tzitik Amir Tzayim fifty times. It says it fifty times in the Torah, and the reason being, as we are going to see, is the Arizal writes that the great wonder of Sipur Yitzchak Mitzrayim was that Hashem delivered us and didn't let us go down from the 49th level to the 50th, because if we would have descended down from the 49th to the 50th. We wouldn't have been delivered. That's what we mentioned in the Haggadah, right before, um, right before, uh, right, right before Maaseh Bar Rabbi Yazar. Avadim hayinu leparo be Mitzrayim. We were slaves to Paro in Egypt. Vayotzini Adonai Elohenu Misham beyad Hazaga bizroanetia. Veilu lo hotzia Kadosh Baruch Hu et avodin Mitzrayim in a, in, a, in an outstretched arm. And if Hashem didn't take us out of Mitzrayim, Adain anachnu ubnenu ubne ubnenu mishubadim hayinu leparo be Mitzrayim. Our sons, our children, children, we would still be in Mitzrayim. So he explains, Rev, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he explains um, the Arizal that we le- we reach such a low level that Hashem wanted to deliver us. And the Zohar Kadosh says the following. The Zohar Kadosh says in the name of Rabbi Yossi. Rabbi Yossi asked asked Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, I have a question, but I'm afraid to ask you. But I, on the other hand, I'm too afraid if I don't ask you as well. So what do I do? I'm very afraid to ask you. We'll see why he was afraid to ask him. And I'm also not. Uh, I'm also don't know what to do if I don't ask you. So Rabbi Shimon said, "Ask." So it says Rabbi Yossi. It says uh, It says that 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 Hakadosh Baruch Hu promised that he's going to take Bnei Israel out of Mitzrayim. Who did he make the promise to? Avraham Avinu. He's going to deliver Bnei Israel out of out of uh, out of Mitzrayim. So asks the ask asks Rabbi Yossi. So what's the great feat that he actually delivered him out of Mitzrayim? He delivered us out of Mitzrayim. It was a promise. Do you ever hear of somebody not keeping his promise? So what's the great feat? Of course he took us out of Mitzrayim. He promised us. So Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai answered a very cryptic answer. He said, "All it says." All it says is that Hashem would have would have would have delivered us, but that we would be His nation. It never said. Okay, Hashem would have taken us eventually of Mitzrayim. He promised him a great nation from Himself. So He promised. So so we're going we're going to see the answer to that question. Actually, we're going to see an answer to that question. But but Hashem promised us. Hashem, Hashem, Hashem promised to deliver us. Okay, fine. So Hashem would have delivered us, but not that we would be His nation. Explains the Bet Halevi the following. 
Bet Alevi says something very, very important. And if it wasn't the Bet Alevi who said this, it would be Asur if it would be forbidden to say such a thing. But the Bet Alevi says that if it wasn't, that, 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 that Hashem delivered us before we would have sunk to the lowest of the f- level, which is the 50th level of Tum'ah, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have been Hashem's nation anymore. We wouldn't have been Hashem's nation. Ah, it says he's always going to have Zaro Shel Avram. We would have lost the the lineage and the connection by being so far spiritually removed. We would have lost that connection. We would have lost that connection. We were so entrenched in the Tuma of Mitzrayim. We know that the Chachamim Musar tell us that Mitzrayim is the same is the same is the same um, letters as as a mitzar. It comes from the word mitzar, boundaries. Mitzrayim is from mitzar, boundaries. It's, it's bound. It's boundaries of, it was boundaries of tum'ah, boundaries of decadence, and it was boundary of tremendous, tremendous um, immorality that was in Mitzrayim, especially in Arayot. That's why the Heida writes, in, his, in the Haggadah Shel Pesach, we're going to see that the Heida writes that, that the tikkun of Yitzhak Yat Mitzrayim was the wasted semen of Adam Marisho. That's what the Talmudim of the Arizal writes. Very, very deep, 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 deep concepts. It was from the, from the, from the, from the, the wasted semen zera zera of Adam Arishon. The tikkun of that there had to be a tikkun of Yitzhak Mitzrayim. So Yitzhak Mitzrayim has a lot to do with immorality regarding. Uh, re- regarding um, adulterous relationships and all of that, and because Bnei Israel kept their families separate in Mitzrayim, in that merit we were saved. Says the Chazal. Okay, so getting back to our getting back to our original um, getting back to our uh, getting back to our subject, that this is this is the. Uh, what Rav Yaakov Abu Chatzera writes that Sipur Yitzit Mitzrayim is so amazing, and as we mentioned, it's written 50 times because it's the 50 levels that Hashem took us out of. Because we were down to the 49th, we would have went down to the 50, we wouldn't have been delivered. And Hashem took us out level by level, level by level, and, and we became His nation. And we became His nation during that time. So says Rabbi, ya- uh, Rabbi Yaakov, there's tremendous, tremendous depth in this. If Hakadosh Baruch Hu said in His commandment, Anochi Hashem Elokecha, everything is dependent upon this. He says, therefore, it is no wonder. Therefore, it is no wonder that the Chachamim, Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Yeshua, Rabbi Eliezer ben Azaria, Rabbi Akiva, and Rabbi Tarfon, Hayu Mesubim be'Bnei Brak. They were sitting in Bnei Brak, and they would speak of Yitzchak Mitzrayim all night. There was enough to speak about because since this is the foundation of our faith, it's written in the Aseret Hadibrot. It is what the world is standing on. There's much depth to speak about, and we've already just started touching on the surface. But let's go a little, a little bit more. Let's go a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. So. The Haggadah continues, and it mentions the following. Rabbi Yaakov continues on this point and he says that once we mentioned that they were discussing so what is one of the things that they were discussing? So the Gada continues. Until Ben Zoma was Doresh, you should remember the days of Mitzrayim your whole life. And from there we learn that whether Yemei Chayecha Hayamim, the days, and Kol Yemei Chayecha Lelot. Why does it say the word Kol to include also the nights? Says Rabbi Yaakov Abu Chatzera, from the fact that we see, as we just mentioned, that the Torah started with Sipur Yetziat Mitzrayim, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is coming to tell you that 
from from the fact that he put it in Anuch Yashem Elakecha. He says an amazing thing. Bale Horot. It's coming to teach us. The Hakadosh Baruch Hu Bale Umar Lem. The Hagam Anuchi. Even though I am Hashem and there is no one besides me, Kaviyachol, Kaviyachol is a, is, a, is a euphemism, like something that not a euphemism. It's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a word that really, uh, like we wouldn't it's like imagine like Ilu. We would Hashem's wouldn't be complete without the Yitziat Mitzrayim, without him taking us out of Mitzrayim. Without him taking us out of Mitzrayim. Is it the That's only the, time? Not the only time, but like was uh, Egypt the height of witchcraft as well? Yes, yes. Egypt, so, was, they were masters in Kishafim, which also attacked the whole premise of uh, of Anochi Hashem Elokecha, of oneness. Sure, sure, that's part of it also. Therefore, says uh, says Rabbi Yaakov Abu Chatzera, you have to remember it all the time because of such an important principle of faith. The, the Haggadah continues and and introduces to us these four sons: Baruch Hamakom, Baruch Hu, Baruch Shenatan Torah Le'Amu Yisrael. Keneged Arba Banim Dibra Torah. Keneged the four sons the Torah discussed. Echad Chacham. The Echad Rasha. The Echad Tam. The Echad Shenei Odeli Shol. One is a Chacham. One is a Rasha. One is a Tam. One is Shenei Odeli Shol. Right away, Rabbi Yaakov Mechatzer tells us the following. The Haggadah is not coming to tell you what one son asked and what another son asked. That doesn't really interest us what one son asked or one didn't. He says, rather, where we're going to read the Haggadah, it doesn't say Chacham, Chacham Sha'al, the Chacham asked. It says, Chacham Mahu Omer. What does the Chacham say? Rasha Mahu Omer. What does the Rasha say? Tam Mahu Omer. What does the Tam say? And Sheenu Yodeli Shol doesn't even ask, it doesn't even say. But it's what the person, what a Chacham should be saying. In other words, each person, the Gaon Nevilna says that each person has the obligation to understand Sipur Yetziat Mitzrayim according to his level. And if you don't understand Sipur Yetziat Mitzrayim according to your level, and you're only satisfying your your, 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 your night of the Seder with the same level of Sipur Yetziat Mitzrayim the way you knew it in kindergarten, you didn't properly fulfill your mitzvah. You didn't properly fulfill your mitzvah, which, which is an obvious thing. And that's why Rabbi Yaakov is saying that Chacham Mahum, what does the Chacham say? Not, not, not the, 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 it's what he, what this chacham, particular chacham, once asked, what he answered. Nice piece of information. No, what should your chacham? What should you be asking? What should you be asking? And what should you be answering? <laughs> He's going to discuss the rasha. I mean, what do we care what the rasha is asked? What should the rasha should be asking? We're not, we're not, we're not dealing with the rasha. He deals with that, but he goes into a very long kabbalistic discussion that I, I really, I don't know if I'm going to be able to say it over. It's uh, something uh, beyond the scope of of the shiur and of the magi shiur. <laughs> okay, so 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 getting back to the four sons. He says the following: Al pi kabbalah, the the arba banim connected arba banim dibra Torah. The four sons are also connected. The four cups of wine we drink on Pesach. Yeah, the four sons, the four cups of wine, and he says that this is connected. There are four worlds. Al pi kabbalah, there are four worlds that we ascend every tefillah and we descend. Right in Shacharit, we go. We start with olam ha. The basic world of doing, so that's the rasha. Then, then we go up to to Bria, the world of creating. That that is the 
that is the tam. That is the tam. Then we then we ascend up to the olam hayitzira, which is creating on an even higher level. That's she'eno yodea lishol. The one who doesn't know how to ask. And the highest level is olam ha'atzilut. It's the olam that connects us to Hashem. We reach that level during the silent prayer, the Amidah. And that's why we take three steps back because we, we exit out of the three worlds once again. We exit, we, we exit, we exit out of the three worlds once again. So we always rise from Asiya, Biriya, Yitzir, And this is also the four cups of wine that we drink. And he says, so there is going to be a deep message, says of the Kabbalah, in each one of these cups. Saying, that's number one. And, and, and he, 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 he discusses the following. Does that mean the fourth one is the most important one? The fourth cup. I don't know if the four cups that we drink are in that order of Asiya. I don't. He, he doesn't say that. He, he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't really answer that. He, does, he doesn't really mention that, but but the message of of that the of, of, of the chacham we start the chacham asks what are these commandments that Hashem that, that Hashem commanded us? You you have to tell him a halacha that we don't uh, we we don't eat after the afikum and so we don't eat after the pesach afikum. In other words, by the chacham, it was a it was a discussion according to the level of uh, of, of halacha. It wasn't a simple a simple you, you know it was he was asking a question. According to his level, in other words, he wanted to know even the most intricate details. In other words, that's the that's the sign of a chacham. For a chacham, everything is important. There is no such thing in Torah as something that's not important. There are things that are more important, less important. But there's no such thing as non-important details in the Torah. Everything has an importance to it. And the chacham values every single detail. The chacham values every single detail. That's why I think over here also the chacham. Um, actually, it was going on the on the, on the, on the, on the nitpicking of, of every single halacha. You tell him and why. He he goes on to the to the rasha. He says, "What do we care? What the rasha is asking?" And then he explains according to Kabbalah, which I which I can't get into. Okay, let's continue. We're on on the time and shenayu, the he doesn't ask so much. We we continue on. What is the time? What is the proper time of saying the Haggadah? Yachol mirosh chodesh. I would have thought to say the Haggadah from Rosh Chodesh. Why would I think to say the Haggadah from Rosh Chodesh already? Talmud Lomar Bayomahu. No, on this day. Why? So, this is going to allude to something that we spoke about in the past. I think it's Rabbi Yitzchak Isaac Khaver who explains this. That the month of, of, of Nisan was where it was introduced to us Kiddush HaChodesh, Rosh Chodesh. What was taught on Rosh Chodesh? That we will be his nation that is not subject to the um, to the limitations of time. We were above time, we are above nature, we control nature. Yachol mi Rosh Chodesh. So I would have thought already from Rosh Chodesh. Why would I have thought to, to say the Haggadah Shel Pesach from Rosh Chodesh already? Why would I have thought to say the Haggadah Shel Pesach from Rosh Chodesh already? It should be done for Lela Seder. The answer is, you know why I would have thought to say it from Rosh Chodesh? Because Rosh Chodesh is when the the chidush, when the when the the the, the new idea and concept that Hashem made us into a nation of a special capacity that we are we are an Amma Nifchar that we are we control time. That's the Chidush of Rosh Chodesh that we have and the other nations don't have. So the Yivanim tried to destroy Rosh Chodesh. And that's why we we, we have the secret 
favorite of the of the Mo'adim. It's all in the Rosh Chodesh because Rosh Chodesh is the time that we are able to determine where the holidays are and it gives us the key to creation. And the key to creation is that we have the through the Torah, through the power of the Torah, we have the power, so to say, to be able to to, 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 to to control nature through the power of God. And that's what happened on Yitzhak Mitzrayim. Hashem made us into that special nation, the special nation whose legacy is Rosh Chodesh, which is why that should have been the first mitzvah of the Torah if it wasn't for the fact that Hashem wanted to start off to say that the world really Hashem created and He gave us Eretz Yisrael. That was the message Rashi, the first Rashi from tells us why we started from Bereshit Bara. But if it wasn't beca- if, it, if, it, if it wasn't because of that, if it wasn't if it wasn't if there wasn't that reason that we should have started with Bereshit, the Torah would have started from Rosh Chodesh. Why? So Rosh Chodesh is the key to the power of our nation, the power of when Hashem made us a nation with with uh, through Yetziat Mitzrayim. So of course, maybe we should have started from Rosh Chodesh Nisan already. That's when we were giving the mitzvah of Rosh Chodesh. So Hashem no. We are only uh, Hashem, is, Hashem says that I am I am I want you to say the Yitziat Mitzrayim when the Matzah and Mara are in front of you. Why? What's the big deal? Why is it so important to have the Matzah and Mara in front of you? So there's a beautiful thought over here. There's a beautiful thought and I think I mentioned this thought very briefly last year, last week, but this is actually the thought that you have to come into Lila Seder with. If you have to come in with anything Lila Seder, this is the thought. We mentioned last week that people have a misconception. They think that the purpose of the Haggadah Shel Pesach and the purpose of Sipur Yitziat Mitzrayim is, is in order to strengthen our imuna only. And that's a big mistake. We see that if that's the case, it's only a, mo- a matter of mind, so we should say the Haggadah without eating the matzah and the bitter herbs and the mar and, 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 and having the whole charades. And, and, and furthermore, we sing the Haggadah. The Moroccan Minhag is we sing the Haggadah. And not only that, by many communities, the Temanim have a special Nusach of their Haggadah. Many, many, many different communities sing the Haggadah. We don't lean during the Haggadah. We sing, we don't lean during the Haggadah, we sit on a cup of wine. I mentioned last week the name of Rabbi Yeruchim, the famous Meshgiyach of Mir, because the purpose of the Haggadah Shel Pesach is Hakarat Atov, Ashira, singing the Haggadah. That's why we say the Halel in the Haggadah. We are giving praise to HaKadosh Baruch Hu through the Haggadah. That is the purpose of the Haggadah Shel Pesach. The Haggadah Shel Pesach is not basically, is not merely in order to strengthen our Imunah. It's, it's, it's in order to sing and give praise and give and give Hoda'a to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It's connecting to Hashem in a different level? Like it's, connection to, it's connection to Hashem. And when we realize how, where we came from, which low level we came from, and where we ascended to and how, how we got to where we got to, then, then, uh, then, then, then we have the tremendous, tremendous akarat atov, and and our hearts overflow with uh, with gratitude to Hashem. So they come Vilna by the time of Shira Shirim, his nishama almost left him. His nishama almost left. The people saw him; they thought he was in another world. He he reached very, very, very high levels. And that's the time that that's, it's an auspicious time. Agadash that we're able to have that, and that's why the, even though we should have said it from Rosh Chodesh, like we like, like we mentioned, but no, the main time time is because when it's in front of you 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 you, you arouse your emotions that you see the matzah you see the maror it brings your emotions that's why our custom is that is that we somebody who who, who plays out the Haggadah he has the he has the matzah maror and people ask him, where are you going well I'm going to Israel. where are you coming from and there's a whole charade going on why because it's supposed to arouse the emotions in order to bring more level of Haggadah Tatov not imuna in the in uh, uh, only all, only in uh, from from a level of sechen, rather imuna that is going to arouse our hakarat atov, our gratitude. That's why we say it on a cup of wine, and and it's a tefillah, it's a prayer, it's a, it, it's it's a, it's a form of prayer. So we can say a prayer leaning. That's why we don't lean during the haggadah. 
Okay, we didn't have time to get into into the main story of the Haggadah, but Bezat Hashem, maybe we'll have uh, opportunity. Opportunity, uh, Mashiach will come very soon, and we'll uh, be able to delve in the Haggadah properly next year. Amen. Amen.